shut it down! What are you doing? Damn! It, it clicked off! From 31,000 feet, Flight 261 plunges downwards for over a minute. The pilots battle for control. It just stops, okay? First, they pull back on the control columns to fight the dive. But then the pilots push the aircraft's nose down into the dive to regain control. It's a risky maneuver, pushing the plane's dive to 350 miles per hour. You gotta release it, you gotta release it. The pilots slowly bring the plane back under control and bring the plane out of its dive. Speed brakes. Give me high pressure pumps. Okay. Help me back. Help me back. Okay. Center Alaska 261. We're in a dive here. I've lost control. Vertical pitch. Alaska 261, say again, sir. Yeah, we're out of uh, 26,000 feet. We are in a vertical dive. Not a dive yet, but we have lost vertical control of our airplane. Just help me. Once we get the speed slowed, maybe we'll be okay. Maintaining level flight is not easy. The jam stabilizer continues to push the nose of the plane down. We're at 23-7. Request. Yeah, we got it under control here. No, we don't. Okay. Okay. To counteract the downward force of the stabilizer, the pilots use the elevators, movable panels at the back of the tail, linked by cable to the control column. The pilots pull with all their might. The fate of the plane hangs on the strength of their arms. In the cabin, frightened passengers try to recover from the terrifying plunge. They have no idea what might happen next. Holiday memories are replaced by the fear of dying. Dean was one of these people who would talk to whoever was around him. I'm absolutely certain that, that he was talking to the person that was sitting next to him on the plane. I'm sure that they had a connection. Colleen was very unique from my other kids, and she loved to travel. She was um, a beautiful girl. But here was a 25-year-old who was like she had her own private rocket ship. She was really going places. In the cockpit, the pilots fight to control the plane's speed so that they can land. They've got a handful of airplanes. They get her stabilized, and they're now in, in a situation where they make the decision properly to go in on an emergency landing to Los Angeles International. Let's take the speed brakes off. No, no, leave them there. It seems to be helping. Damn. Okay, it really wants to pitch down. Okay. Don't mess with that. I agree with you. With the plane under temporary control, the pilots make the fateful decision to do some more troubleshooting. They need a block of clear space around the aircraft in case they lose control again. They contact air traffic control. Alaska 261, say your conditions. 261, we are at 24,000 feet, kind of stabilized. We're slowing down here, we're, and we're going to do a, a little troubleshooting. Can you give me a block altitude between 20 and 25? Alaska 261, maintain block altitude, flight level 200 through flight level 250. The pilots now have clear airspace above and below the plane. They try to figure out their next move. You got the airplane. Let me just try it. OK. How hard is it? I don't know. My adrenaline's going. It was really rough back there for a while. Yeah, it is. 
Whatever we did is no good. Let's not do that again. Yeah, it went to down, to full nose down. It's worse than it was before. Yeah, we're in much worse shape now. The pilots know this is no mere electrical problem. From what they've experienced, they assume the stabilizer is now jammed. I think it's at the stop, full stop. And I'm thinking, can it get any worse? But it probably can. But let's slow it. Let's get down to 200 knots and see what happens. The crisis is worse than ever. Uncertain how the plane will react if they try to slow it down, the pilots must still pull on the elevators to maintain level flight. Captain Thompson once again tries to get help from maintenance. Maintenance, 261, are you on? Yeah, 261, this is maintenance. Okay, we did both the pickle switch and the suitcase handles, and it ran, ran away, it ran away full nose trimmed down. Oh, it ran away trimmed down? Okay, and now we're in a damp pinch, and we're holding, we're worse than we were before. You're getting full nose trimmed down, but you don't get no nose trim up. Is that correct? That's a firm. We went to full nose down, and I'm afraid to try it again to see if it would go in the other direction. Okay, well, your discretion. Uh, if you want to try it, that's okay with me. If not, that's fine. See you at the game. As important as it is to have that ground contact with, uh, with people with maintenance manuals and experience on the ground and the ability to call up the manufacturer, it's not always going to give you a magic answer. The crew had already gone through every logic tree they possibly could think of. Maintenance clearly does not appreciate the significance of the situation, and this is the last the crew will hear from them. No one can help the pilots now as they struggle with the plane's jammed stabilizer. Ever professional, however, they try to put the passengers at ease. Folks, that we have had a flight control problem up front here. We're working it. Uh, that's Los Angeles off to the right there, and that's where we're intended to go. We're pretty busy up here working this situation. I don't anticipate any big problems once we get a couple of subsystems on the line. But we will be going into LAX, and I anticipate us parking there in about 20 to 30 minutes. In fact, they will never make it to Los Angeles. But that is just the beginning of a real-life horror story yet to unfold. After the terrifying 8,000 feet plunge downwards, Alaska Airlines 261 has now leveled out. LA, Alaska 261, we're with you. We're at 225. We have a jam stabilizer, and we're maintaining altitude with difficulty. But uh, we can maintain altitude, we think. And our intention is to land at Los Angeles. The pilots request to be routed out over the Pacific Ocean, away from the airport. Center uh, Alaska 261, I, I need to get down about 10, change my configurations to make sure I can control the jet. And I'd like to do that over the bay here, if I may. If the worst happens, the pilots don't want to kill people on the ground as well as in the plane. There are a lot of lives saved that people maybe don't realize by the fact that this air crew said, let's stay out over the water until we've got this thing completely under control. As they maneuver over the ocean, the crew again ask air traffic control to keep the space around the plane clear. Alaska 261, fly a heading of 280 and descend and maintain 17,000. 280 and 17, 17,000, Alaska 261, and we're generally needing a block altitude. Alaska 261, roger. 